Oh goodness. Ugh. You've seen it here first. <laughs> My heart kept feeling like it was beating out its chest. I was dizzy and I just felt completely uncomfortable. Like I didn't like how I felt. Like girl, I don't know what an overdose feel like, but I feel like I was overdosing or something. I love how people love to put kids on other people. Like y'all ain't going through this experience. You gotta give him a boy. He don't care to have a boy. Like he's fine. This day that God has given me, I'm not gonna waste this joy deep down Hey friends, today is February 19th. I still have my wristband on. I need to do my at-home shower. I haven't done that yet. I showered at the hospital last night, but the first night back in, oh my God. First of all, they were talking about like, they took like one more blood pressure for me. It was high. Well, it's not, it wasn't like super high. Okay, so. So, I had to do a quick little intermission. Tosh just had a little breakdown. I got overwhelmed and now I got the baby because I just put her down to film this clip. Yeah, last night was a wake up call. Um, I was talking about my blood pressure. I initially thought I was gonna stay in the hospital for three days um, simply because I did have preeclampsia and I was gonna get monitored. But he was basically like, um, because my blood pressure was a little higher, it was the first elevated one I had since I've been there. They were just like, you can go home, but just monitor your blood pressure twice a day. I took it today. <clears throat> it's like, it's not how it normally is, but it's also not like as elevated. So he was just like, watch out for this number and symptoms. I don't have any symptoms. I don't feel weird, shortness of breath, nothing. But I was just like uh, a little anxious about it. But last night was crazy with the newborn. My camera's about to die, but she just wanna go to sleep. And we said we weren't gonna get pacifiers and here she is sucking on one. But I had to just do what I had to do. We had to do what we had to do because I can't run off no sleep just trying to be like everybody else with not doing the pacifier. And everybody, a lot of people do pacifiers, so I didn't feel bad about it. I'm like, I haven't got no sleep. She not sleeping, so I had to give her a pacifier. But I've been cluster feeding. It's a lot. We My nipples are sore. I have the nipple butter on deck. It is a lot going on. It is a lot with two kids, but my heart is full. And I'm gonna get more into like myself, everything that I haven't talked about yet. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Let my camera charge up and everything and we'll talk. Okay, so I'm back a day later. Stuff got crazy last night. Not crazy, but I just got busy and obviously I just had a baby and I already have a toddler at home. So it has been a bit, as you can imagine. That's all I'm gonna say. But it's been over 24 hours with my newborn and my toddler and it's been, it's like it's been calm. Then we have moments where we're just kind of overwhelmed. And I think it's because obviously we have a toddler. We have moments where Taj is kind of sad. Well, not kind of, she is sad. Like this morning, she was just like, I told her we were going to the doctor for the baby and she was going to daycare. And she was like, I wanna go to the doctor. Like I feel like she was feeling left out. And she just kept saying, I'm so sad, I'm so sad, I'm so sad. So it was really making me sad. But you know, it's a transitional time for us and I believe that everything is gonna work itself out. I'm just keep praying and you know, go with the flow. I'm not gonna overdo it. I'm not gonna have any expectations. I'm just gonna go with the flow and literally give it to God. Because if I try to control the situation, it's gonna drive me nuts. And that's just something I can't do. It is pretty calm now that she's in daycare, but um, we took Ty to the doctor today. She got her weight in. She was born at seven pounds, but you know, as you can imagine, newborns lose weight. And then she kind of lost a little bit more weight than um, I guess the average newborn. So now she's at six five or six six, something like that. So. Um, luckily my milk had just started coming in. I just pumped and you know, we're no more colostrum. We are officially into the milk. So I'm about to really start taking care of my body. Even though I should have been doing that, but you know, pregnancy, you know, those changes in your body, we want all types of food, but now's the time to really take care of me so that I can take care of her and really be mindful of what I'm putting in my body, drinking lots of fluids so that I can produce fluids. But I pumped out this is I think this is the first day my milk actually came in so I pumped out an ounce while um, well first I fed like her nurse on this and she's cluster feeding right now um, I let her nurse on this boob and then I was pumping afterwards on this one um, 
I did it for about 15 minutes and I got like an ounce. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I put that up and I'm gonna just keep feeding her as necessary as many times as she needs and just kind of stimulating the nipple so that my milk can come in. I can like feel it right now. So I'm just gonna continue to do what I'm doing. I got this really comfortable, um, what is this, nightgown? It was supposed to be for the hospital, but it ended up coming like the same day, the same night I actually was induced. So I didn't get a chance to, um, you know, wear it but that's fine but it's so comfortable to wear around the house now but i got some nursing bras that i wanted to show y'all i did wear a few already this is from mom anda i believe i have a code if i do it's in the description or it's on right here on right here it's right on the screen but so far i've worn i think two of them i think it's another two packed up in the hospital bag that i haven't grabbed i'll show y'all this little video i made of them um when i do put them on I, i'll do a try on haul for y'all it's just been so much going on i haven't had time to really do the content that i want so i feel like instead of planning my content i'm just kind of going with the flow like i could have did a 24 hours with a newborn video it just was a lot y'all so y'all got to bear with me on my channel and just know that it's a lot going on over here so if i give y'all something it's because i'm really working hard to get it out because as you can imagine i'm busy but this is one of the bras that I got. And mind you, these are maternity bras. These aren't regular bras. These are so cute. This is like a lacy, sexy one. Um, and I really like this. Like, I could wear this for my husband. And, you know, still feel good. And that's one thing I'm feeling like um, in comparison to the first one. Like, I felt like I didn't want to go near my body. Like, it just felt like so fragile. Like, even with, like, taking showers, using the bathroom, I was just so fragile. But now, since I know what's going on, I know my body. And I have experience in the field of birthing. Um... I feel much better. Um, I did me a skincare routine last night. My body was all silky. Like, I just, I feel good. My clothes, I'm wearing clothes that I can actually, well, I can't fit anything yet, but I'm gonna have to get rid of the little belly area, but it has been going down. So I'm excited about that. But yeah, this time around, we're not gonna mope around or feel like we can't do certain things or wear certain things because we just had a baby. Like, yes, we did really good work. And yes, we did something that God only created for certain people aka women we're doing the best thing we can possibly do which is reproduce this is really cute so the lacy pink one got a lacy what color is this off white it's a certain color i can't think of what it's called but i'm just gonna call it off white but that's cute i have one on right now it's a white color one i wore a white one i think it was ribbed or something like that and then i have a pink one in there i'm gonna just show y'all the video and then i ordered these because i thought that first of all i didn't know when the mom and the bras were going to come in because i'm like i don't know if they're gonna come in because a brand sent them to me and i didn't i wasn't sure if they were going to come in in time so i ordered these thinking that they was going to be here and these still didn't come in in time i had other nursing bras on deck but i don't know well i had like a few that brands sent me throughout my pregnancy but I just, I don't know. What's wrong with me? I don't know. I didn't pack those. <laughs> this pack, this is called GXXGE. I don't know how to pronounce that. But maternity and nursing bras. Here's the packaging. I'll link them below. And they come with one, two, three, four bras. I like the texture. These feel really soft. The ones that I got before with Taj, I didn't like those. They were from Amazon. Um, I didn't really like those. They were cool, but in comparison to these, these are like way more comfortable feeling. And I know that I like them. So it comes with a white one, that one, a beige one, or nude. I don't know why I said beige. A nude one. Then we have a burgundy one. This is really cute. I like this color. And then, of course, we have a black one. So these, I like these rods already. Hopefully they fit me. They look a little small, but you can always adjust the straps. I wanna make sure they fit my tatas. Yeah, I should be fine. My nipples are so sore, y'all, from breastfeeding. That's another thing. But I've been using the nipple butter by Earth Mama, and that's been helping. Like every time I nurse or finish pumping, I'll just rub some on my nipple. All in all, things have been going well. She's latching well. I can't wait until the phase is over. They say you're like sore for like a week or two. I can't remember how long I was sore with Taj, but I just can't wait until that's over because I really do enjoy breastfeeding. Like I really do. Just knowing that my body is producing milk, food for my baby, it just makes me feel good. But also I believe that these, I got these in the mail today. I think, well, I don't know if it came today, but I picked them up from the package room. But I think these are from Taj's, God, Taj's, I gotta get used to that. This is from Ty Years. Um, this is from Ty's godmom. I told her that she needed more newborn clothing because she's so tiny and she sent a package from Gerber. Look at this. 
This is the brand Gerber. These are so cute. Everything that's little girls is so cute. I'm so happy I got two girls. There she go. I feel like she's still going to be so tiny for these. But she'll grow. And then this one. I don't know if you guys can see. Here it goes. Like crowns and stars. But these are so cute. So we got to wash these because she got some new stuff yesterday from somebody that works at his job and we are so grateful for them because i'm gonna show y'all when i get a chance um i need to actually go rest i just wanted to catch y'all up on what was exactly going on yesterday that i couldn't finish the vlog um actually my battery died i just wanted to catch y'all up on where i'm at mentally and how things are going like i said i'm just going with the flow i want to show y'all some packages i got in regards to mama life um and yeah, I'm about to relax for a little bit before I have to feed her again. Because like I said, she does cluster feed. Um, yeah, mommy is tired. So I'll be right back. <laughs> Love you give me, I just can't deny. Yeah. No longer blinded, I can see you. I'm on my way to meet you. Gotta talk, you know. All these trials and tribulations got me tired. I need rest. Well, today is Wednesday, 21st, and I have to kind of whisper because my baby is right next to me. I finally got a way where I can just like not hold her. Cause I gotta clean up like my little area is like a mess and Jermaine just keeps cleaning up and I know he's helping out that's what dads do and husbands but um I just can't function I mean it's just a bunch of baby stuff and toddler stuff it's not anything crazy like an oatmeal bowl on the couch you know just little stuff But anyways, um, it's been a little difficult with like trying to get stuff done around the house. I'm trying to come up with my own group because Jermaine is only going to be on paternity leave for so long. So I'm trying to like find ways where I can like sit her down without her crying. Um, our last resort is the pacifier. We do have them on deck. But um, for the most part, I kind of want her to learn to self-soothe. And I want to have her on my boob when she starts crying and stuff so that my milk can come in regularly. My milk has came in, has come in, my milk has come in and it's um it's a pretty good supply so far for where I'm at. I just got to keep on pumping, keep on putting her on my boob no matter how tired I am, no matter how sore I am. And speaking of sore, so I've been using the nipple butter by earth mama and it's definitely been super helpful for <clears throat> soothing my nipples and making sure that they are not cracked so i'm watching i was watching another girl um she like had a 24 hours with a newborn video and my cousin actually sent me some nipple shields because i had them on registry but i had them on my registry but no one bought them yet but i was telling her i'm like yeah i need to get some because my nipples are like getting tore up so she ended up buying them for me so i watched a girl and she was saying yeah i use the nipple butter after each feeding and then i'll put the shields on there to kind of calm them down and stuff so i'm about to do the same thing because that the first couple of days are like horrible okay oh these are nice so here they are this is what the packaging looks like i'll link them below for y'all as well two silver shields right here and then it also comes with a little pouch for you to keep them to store them which is good so basically let's see how we're supposed to use these Oh, so you can't use the nipple butter with it. Let's just see how these work first. Now you know you can't see my boobs. <laughs> and I'm wearing one of my mom and uh, nursing bras. Okay, so we're going to let this sit for a little bit. I actually need a pump soon because she did just get done nursing. But I'm trying to also get stuff done around the house while she's sleeping. Oh, come on. Okay. 
Mm. Shout out to this gown that I got from Amazon. I have to link it for y'all. I think I told y'all about it, but it's so convenient. It's so easy to just slip on. I'm gonna show y'all the little baby while she's sleeping because I was using this butter pillow and while this bur butter, this butter pillow is super firm. It's a popular nursing pillow. Um, it's very firm. It's very like cushiony. The one she has now is for her to lay in more because this one I try to sit her up in or like lay down because she likes to be like closed in because it reminds her of the womb obviously swaddling has not been like working out the best way we want it to put her in this pillow that I got from Amazon my grandmother got it for me it was on my registry and this is what she looks like now so I think I found a remedy and this is what my house looks like just like stuff all over because obviously when you're with a newborn carrying a newborn it's just like you just throw stuff down like this is literally what it looks like <laughs> so I'm just gonna straighten up pump and eat me something in the meantime but I do have a backup plan I do have my um bump suit armadillo um baby carrier if I need to use that while I clean up I also need to eat lunch I did a Walmart order, but it's not going to get picked up till later because Jermaine's out playing basketball and stuff. I'm planning on making spaghetti today. Am I going to make spaghetti? I didn't even take the meat out. I got to take the meat out. I don't know if I'm going to make it today. I might make it tomorrow. Um, but shout out to Shonda. I absolutely love her. Um, I met her on TikTok and she sent me and Jermaine like a DoorDash pass too. So I might use that today. Um, or if we got food in the refrigerator, I might find something, freezer, to make. I just... I didn't take the meat out, and I don't know if it's too late or not. It's ground turkey. What do y'all think? We might have to do an alternative, but I did get a bunch of snacks. I got body armor because I heard that body armor is really good for milk supply, so I want to see what that's about. And one thing I'm super grateful for is that I don't have the diabetes anymore because, it's like, I could not take having to monitor what I eat. Like, yes, you should still monitor what you eat, but, like, I couldn't eat oatmeal. Like, an oatmeal is supposed to be healthy, especially oats for you know breastfeeding so i had oatmeal today and it was absolutely amazing um it's just little stuff that i wasn't able to eat and it's just like uh this is so annoying so i feel like my nipples is doing something like i don't know like i gotta i gotta really understand the science behind the nipple the shields because i feel like they're doing something but i don't know what but yeah y'all i could sit here and talk to y'all all day but obviously this is the best time for me to get up and get stuff done so i'm gonna talk to y'all when i have some more time sending me the one where you have two of them because they only sent me the one where it's just one of them which is fine but I would prefer to do both of them too um I just cleaned up a little bit cleaned up the girls room made me some lunch I just made a sandwich with some cheese puff little chips or whatever you want to call them I don't know do you call those chips I don't know and then my water of course I love Evian water it helps me really just drink a lot of it because it's just so smooth and it tastes so good I don't care what nobody say water definitely has a taste and this taste is just so good to me like it helps me really just get my water intake and I get the bulk kind from Sam's Club I got like one more left so I'm gonna have him go get me another one or order it and um, have him pick it up because I'm about to be out of water and water is definitely key to um, staying hydrated and obviously for a good supply with your milk so I heard I mean it just makes sense it's like what you put in your body is what you get out so if I'm not drinking enough water how can I produce enough milk right so I'm about to eat chill for a minute I think I'm gonna feed her before I actually pump so I'm just waiting for her to wake up and just chill watch some YouTube and yeah so far things are going very smoothly but we gonna see what life is like when Taj get home so it's like this morning this morning slash afternoon stuff this is me and the me and the baby 
but when Taj come in, we gonna see life with the baby and a toddler. And I'm gonna tell y'all now, it's not easy. It's not easy at all, but this is my life now, so I can't complain. God bless me with two beautiful girls. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is what I'm supposed to be doing, so I'm gonna do it. Okay, friends, so it is 4.54 and Jermaine went to go get Taj. Um, my good sis Shonda sent Taj an Amazon gift card so that she can get like a few items that will make her feel better as a big sister because it's been a hard transition, I'm not gonna lie. She has her moments where she's sad. She has her moments where she's happy, but shout out to Shonda because this was so nice of her to really just think about us in this time so i picked out a few things that i know she'd like this isn't everything i think i have a few packages in the hub that i'm gonna have jermaine get later but i just wanted to open this up for her and have it like sitting in here when she comes <clears throat> i'm also pumping just got done nursing ty hopefully i'm not being too loud First is this um, children's puzzle game. It's a mini learning machine. It's a card machine. So basically, you'll put the card in and it'll read it. And you'll basically you'll put the card in and it will read it for you, so she can learn what different things are. I mean, she pretty much knows a lot of things already, but there's certain things that she doesn't know. Like for sure, she would know what an apple is. She'll know what a banana is. But it's certain things on here, different categories on here as well. So I picked this up for her from Amazon. Don't forget, everything is going to be linked below for you guys. And I got her this, well, Shonda. We're going to say Shonda. She's the one who got it. And this, I'm the big sister bear. This is so cute. I need for them to take pictures right here. So cute. Um, let's see this. And then I picked her out this. I can't tell which one's the front and the back. I think this is the front. But I got her this magic. Well, it's not called magic. What is this called? It's a waterproof fab fabric. So basically, it's like this big mat. And you can write on it. So it's like water brushes in here that she can write with. Um, she can do her ABCs on here. Um, what else did it say you can do? Painting dries in three to five minutes and then 10 minutes it'll disappear. So it's like a magic pen and she'll write on it all the different activities and stuff. So I think she'll like this as well. This isn't everything. Like I said, she has more stuff coming in the mail. Um, there's some, I kind of want to wait for her to get everything. That way she'll have everything. But I don't know if she get things one by one, not one by one, but like in groups, she won't be so overwhelmed. Because when I got that basket for her, for her birthday, for like Valentine's Day, I, she had so many gifts, y'all, like just so much, especially from daycare. She was so overwhelmed. Like she was just playing with one thing then she goes to nuts. She couldn't really like enjoy it. So I think I'm going to give her these three items today. This bear is just the cutest, like, what? I'm gonna have them take pictures together and we are gonna set this up. And this gonna be in a little picture. This is so cute for her. So I'm about to go put this in her room and then when she comes in, I'm gonna be like, hey Pooh, look what Shonda got you. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to open that up for y'all. Let's see how much milk we got, I'm about to stop pumping. Got about this much. I don't think I'm doing too bad, especially because this is my, my milk came in yesterday. That's when I started noticing like we weren't getting colostrum anymore. So I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I just got to keep her on the boob and 
keep pumping. And the reason I'm pumping is because I don't want to be in a situation where I'm not here or something happens and Jermaine doesn't have any milk to give to her and then he'll have to substitute with formula. I don't want to do that. So I'm trying to make sure that I do have a start. Like I'm starting my stash up now because I feel like if I'm exclusively breastfeeding, then she's not going to have that milk accessible to her if I were to have to do something or go somewhere. And I just want to make sure she has it on deck. So we will be doing both because of that. So yeah, I'm going to pour this in her little stash. Let me put this up before they get here. And yeah, we'll see her reaction. I'm excited. Don't even think about it. This is from Shonda. Shonda? Yeah, say thank you. Thank you, Shonda. <laughs> I want to open this one. Like your teddy bear, it says, I'm the big sister. Oh, my sister to get shipped instead of drop off or whatever or pick Whoa! up. Don't put it in your mouth. Where did them bees from? Oh. That's from, uh, from me. Okay, let's not put it in our mouth though. No, I don't want to put it in my mouth. Oh, you got a shirt. Oh, this is for your baby sister. It says little sister. Then this one is for you. It says big sister. Whoa! Oh, y'all got the same shirt. Look. Whoa! This one's yours, big sister. Mm. And this one is Ty Ty's, little sister. Yay! That's cute. Yeah, I got all of them. Y'all put these in y'all room. I'm a superhero. Cheese. All right, let's open this one. I think that's all. I think that's the babies. Oh. All right, go in your room so we can play with this. Okay. So this one is for Tyre from her dad mom. She got her some more clothes. Oh, this is cute with the little bow. Oh, yes. This is so cute. Shout out to her dad mom. She got her. Oh, this is so cute. Some little heart pants. Look, look at me. I'm a superhero. With a matching shirt. Sweater. Hey y'all, so today is February 23rd, 
it is friday i don't know if it's the 23rd or 22nd i don't know it'll be on the screen as you can see i am feeding the baby we are at carter's we just left her appointment um her weight check the first time we had an appointment my lips are so chapped her first appointment we went because they thought that she had jaundice and she had like a little bit of it but it wasn't enough to like have to do anything and then as the days progressed she progressed and her you know her color started to come and everything and then when we went the first time i think we went earlier this week like on monday no we went tuesday he was like <clears throat> she was born at seven pounds and then she ended up losing weight she was six five um so he was just like i knew it was gonna they was gonna try to tell me to substitute breast milk for formula because that's what they always tell you but i'm like my milk is coming in i feel like she's feeding great so i wasn't really concerned or whatever i knew she was gonna gain the weight back so we had a weight check today <clears throat> and she's seven nine so she gained that weight pretty quickly because my milk is really coming in and i can't wait to show y'all or tell y'all what i did differently in comparison to last time i breastfed which was a struggle but y'all last night ugh, so it begins if you didn't know i had preeclampsia with my last pregnancy well post pregnancy after i gave birth i ended up having preeclampsia and it was really a struggle for me like it was really like Whew, my head is hurting right now but it was really like it was a journey like it was so scary I had to be on magnesium for 24 hours if you know you know that magnesium ain't no joke but it was just scary leading up to that point where they had to find a solution it was just like I was in and out the hospital multiple times I didn't been in the back of the ambulance truck blood pressure 200 over 200 something I thought it was the end for me but um i had one of the things that i've been scared of is like um really going through this again so when i left the hospital i feel like they kind of let me go early like they let me go probably like 20 something 24 hours later and he was like the reason why we're letting you go is because you have a slightly elevated blood pressure but it's not enough to be like you know you have to stay or whatever he was like you could stay if you want to or you can just monitor at home and then like let us know what's going on and then go into the doctor and do a blood pressure check so last night or yesterday i checked my blood pressure and it was like 170 something over it was high and so jermaine was just like you need to go to the doctor blah blah, blah. which i'm glad i did because i knew they were gonna the first step is gonna get me some blood pressure medicine to you know manage it and when i tell y'all when i went to the hospital it was elevated and she kept taking my blood pressure like every five minutes every 20 minutes and they was like yeah you're like they took blood for me to make sure it wasn't preeclampsia and they were like your levels look good your numbers look good um so this little piece right here so i was relieved to know that my lab work came back good uh, or my lab results came back good but then they told me that they're gonna put me on the blood pressure medicine and the midwife was like yeah it's probably gonna be for you know a couple months and i'm like i'm not gonna be on no med medicine for some months like i believe in god first of all when i took the blood pressure medicine it's nifedipine or something like that it immediately went down my blood pressure went from like so the first blood pressure she took was like 197 over something which is crazy like that was like the highest it's ever been but i don't even think it was legit because she's like let me run that back over again she did it and it went down to like 160 something like immediately so i'm like yeah that was the wrong reading so then we was at 150 i think the last high blood pressure was like 150 something over something no it was like 130 something over something and then um i can never remember the bottom number and then when she, when I took the medicine, it like went to effect real quick and it went to like 122 over 60 something, which was very normal. So the, the only thing that is kind of bothering me right now is like the fact that this medicine is making my head hurt like a migraine. And I don't really get migraines or headaches often. So this is fairly new to me. And I just feel like I cannot function. Like my head is hurting so bad. Y'all, I took some ibuprofen because that's what they gave me after I gave birth to like you know help with the pain they did prescribe me some more um some of the medicine to keep taking every day and they also prescribed me tylenol so i'm gonna take this tylenol when i get home i don't even know if the tylenol is ready i know the nifedipine is ready but i just my head is hurting so bad but this is my journey i've been praying on it like god please just heal me because i do not feel good but um that's pretty much what's going on with me i have a crazy headache um i've been getting a little bit of rest more than it's like each day is more 
um, just trying to figure out a sleep routine for us not even so much of a routine but just like how we're gonna sleep with her because she's not sleeping in a bassinet y'all like she's just not and i and I, and as i'm thinking about it like i like the fact that the mama Roo is like the motion it has with the bed because she likes that because i do put the boppy in there while i'm awake and like aware and i can check on her because she can slide and like something could happen if i'm not paying attention but i've only put it on there i only put the boppy in there because it snugs her and she likes to be snug because it reminds her of being in the womb so um her lips are peeling. That's how dry my lips are. I need to eat something and drink something. When you take the boppy out and you just have the mattress, it's super... She's been feeding for a while. Are you hungry, Pooh? But it's just so hard. I'm like, I wouldn't want to sleep in here either. So she don't sleep in there. If she sleeps on me or like, and I'm just watching her like a hawk or that's it. Like she just is on me all the time. So I know that's not a good thing, but the that the bassinet just not comfortable it's not she's not gonna want to lay flat on her back and that's what it is so yeah sleeping has been a little bit of a struggle and it, it can't help with my headaches either i know it's not um but my breast milk has came in baby the breast milk is coming in and i'm so excited because this time around i've done things differently and i can't wait to share i'm gonna make a whole separate video just talking about it but just know that i keep looking over because i'm trying to see if jermaine is coming we're at carter's getting her some stuff but um yeah the breast milk is coming in i'm making another video for y'all letting y'all know like what i did differently and things that are helping me things that didn't help and stuff stuff like that but um, we're at Carter's because like, you know how like you have the baby shower and people are buying gifts. You kind of look and see what you need. Now that your baby is here, you know how big they are. She is tiny. Um, even the new, even the newborn stuff we have, she can't fit yet. Like she has socks. She can't fit. So we are getting her some socks and who knows what else this man is buying. He was like, yeah, she needs some more stuff. We still need to get a diaper genie. I've been trying to, sorry y'all. Like when I'm in public, I'm very aware of my surroundings. I'm just like, what's going on? Who, who's where? but um i have the zumi or zami i don't know how to pronounce it but i got it through my insurance it's okay um i feel like i need like one of those hospital grade spectras and that's what i got because i ended up switching my insurance so they're just like going through the process of like sending over the prescription to, from my doctor and stuff like that i ended up getting that one and then i have the mom cozy s12 pump which i do like that one i'm not gonna lie and i like that i'm able to like get up and take it outside and pump like when we were on the way to the hospital i fed her and then i pumped because i'm like my breasts are starting to get like engorged so i pumped in the car and it was good i've been using this app for tracking like her feedings it has like you could track diaper changes as well i feel like it's a lot when you track everything um because you got to have your phone on hand at all times so you can mark the time of everything matter but um i hope she don't spit up when i burp her we i asked the doctor like what's the best way to burp her because like she be not trying to get burped a lot of time oh i knew that was gonna happen i knew that was gonna happen oh goodness oh you seen it here first <laughs> speaking of burping that's a little spit up. That's a little spit up, huh? Huh, little mommy? That's a little spit up. Oh, she's gonna be knocked out. Hello, hello, hello. So today is February 24th, 2024, Saturday, one week postpartum. And everything has been kind of like, I'm not gonna say 100% like smooth, but my blood pressure did start to spike. I think I told y'all that already. Um, but not as much as it was before so they say it was like mildly high so they ended up giving me some medicine sending me home the minute she gave me that medicine my head just started pounding like crazy and it didn't stop literally until and I, w I went in thursday night it did not stop until i woke up this morning like last night was the worst yesterday was the worst the whole day like i was like what is in this medicine that's making my hair hurt and i was googling like the side effects and stuff and it was like you get headache you get dizzy your heart pounds and that's what i was feeling when i took it yesterday and around 12 p.m i completely fell out of it and i was like i cannot be taking this she like yeah you'll be you'll probably be on it for months girl no i won't i know my body i will not be on this for months i'm already feeling good today i took my blood pressure today it was still like 140 over 70 something we got to get that 140 number down 
but i feel fine like i can always tell when i feel like it's going to be high like because i feel it in my body same with like my blood sugar levels like i start to feel lightheaded or like i just start to feel weird i know when my body is like girl you need to check it so i've been feeling good this morning um i'm gonna go i called them and told them to switch my medicine because i do still want to take it to get it lower and stuff i don't want to risk myself but when i pick up this other medicine because i know they had me on this one last time but this one wasn't really working because my blood pressure had been really high and it was preeclampsia but this one she did labs and everything like lab work and she told me it wasn't like giving preeclampsia or whatever it's probably just high blood pressure so um my swelling went like i have swelling at first but it it went down I'm feeling much better. The sun is shining, it's still cold, but I'm like, usually Jermaine will go out and run my errands for me because I'll have the baby breastfeeding. I just finished like a feed. So I'm like, let me hurry up and go get my Target order because I need to go get me some more postpartum underwear, the always ones. I love those ones. I ran out, so I went to go get me another pack. Gotta go pick that up and I gotta go pick up the medicine. I just wanted to get out the house because I'm just like, I need to like remember that I'm a human being so I can't wait to do like my shower routine and like shave my face and do like my skincare and probably throw on a little bit of makeup I need to schedule me an eyebrow appointment because these things are really wild it's um yeah but I'm gonna ask them when I get up here like what are the side effects like let me know because I need to prepare myself but that headache I also feel like the headache wasn't good for me like it was so intense because I was hydrated for sure because my milk was coming in crazy it still is but it wasn't a hydration issue it was lack of sleep i wasn't getting any sleep since i gave birth i haven't got like really good sleep because i'm trying to watch her like a hawk but i found a way to sleep with her and stuff and make sure that she's good and todd is good like i found a way to sleep or whatever so finally got some sleep last night but i know it was lack of sleep and also just kind of like stressing about the whole situation because that definitely wasn't helping me at all um it was something else that I felt like was triggering my headache. I think it was just like the sleep. Oh, and I wasn't eating at first either. Like I would forget to eat. That's how I know I'm not pregnant no more. Cause like I would be forgetting to eat, but I'm also like that, that takes like a toll on your breastfeeding as well. You're nursing your milk. So I am definitely eating healthier too. So that's a good thing. Um, but girl, I just want to be normal again. Like I can't wait to just be feeling good and like, it's like situations like this that make me really think like don't take advantage of your health like take care of your body because last night had me like me and god was face to face for real last night because i was so uncomfortable like my head has never in my life hurt that bad like i was like what is going on like i can't function you know how it is when you have a headache you can't function all you want to do is sleep but i couldn't sleep because i had the baby and i had to nurse every two two to three hours or sometimes like because she cluster feeds like it'll be before one hour or whatever so i'm just glad i got some good sleep finally the sun is shining i'm feeling where am i going where am i going i'm feeling good but yeah i just i really hope this medicine does not have any side effects for me because i feel good right now and I'm gonna take my blood pressure again before I actually take the medicine because I'm supposed to take it twice a day and I'm gonna see what it is. But I just, I'm not a fan of medicine, y'all. I'm really, I'm really not, especially after my experience with that. And I was taking the feta, the feta, the feta pain. I'm gonna put it on the screen. So beware. I don't know if everybody's experience is gonna be like this, but it was the most uncomfortable. It's like my muscles was relaxed and stuff, but my heart kept feeling like it was beating out its chest. I was dizzy and I just felt completely uncomfortable. Like I didn't like how I felt. Like, girl, I don't know what an overdose feel like, but I feel like I was overdosing or something. I don't know. It just it was just uncomfortable. And I was just like, I will never again take this medicine. I don't care what y'all talking about. Y'all can put me on a magnesium drip again before y'all give me this medicine because I don't like how I feel. So but i'm not my levels are not high enough to get on the magnesium drip so thank god because that was miserable as well like you feel completely out of control of your own body like it just out of body experience you're you're weak i just remember like feeling so drowsy you can't move like it's just and you're on it for 24 hours so you can't eat you can't do nothing they have to put a catheter catheter in you because you can't get up you're on it for 24 hours then you have to get evaluated and stay in the hospital for like three days like it's miserable especially if you're nursing you have a newborn like i ain't trying to be in this hospital so girl it's a lot with having a baby this this definitely gonna be my last one i'm not even gonna hold y'all because having a baby like the whole journey is beautiful and it's fun well some part some parts are fun but what i've been through these last two, these last two pregnancies i just i know it's gonna happen again just because i know my body and chances are it's gonna happen again 
I'm not gonna put my body or myself through this, through it again. I'm happy with my two beautiful princesses. I love them. We're good. Everybody like, no, it's time for a boy. Is y'all gonna take care of my kids? Why y'all talk about now it's time for a boy? No, it's not time for a boy. I love how people love to put kids on other people. Like, y'all ain't going through this experience. You gotta give him a boy. He don't care to have a boy. Like, he's fine. But uh, I just wanted to update y'all. We in the house chilling. I think his friend is about to come over or something. I don't remember, but I'm just chilling, y'all. I'm glad to be out the house. So I just want to give y'all a little update. This day that God has given.